Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna go over a Facebook ads retargeting strategy that I call the bucket strategy. Now, this video is gonna be kind of like two parts. In this first part, we're gonna talk about the strategy itself and I'll cover this little chart right here. And then the next part, we'll go into the ads manager and I'll show you how it's actually like set up and configured so you understand the strategy and then how to actually go ahead and put it into your ads account. Now the reason I like this strategy is because, well, first things, it, it works, it works very well. And of course this depends how, how well your ads work. So assuming you have good ads and good offers, this strategy, it works very well. Um, and the next thing I like about it is it's simple. Like it's very easy to understand, it's very easy to set up. You don't have to worry about all sorts of exclusions and getting crazy with it. Like it's pretty simple retargeting strategy that works. So that's why I like it. And let's go ahead and get into the strategy now. So of course you start off with your cold traffic audience and you're bringing cold people that don't know who you are uh, into your environment, right? And so what I typically do is I set up three different audiences, like a lookalike audience, a specific interest audience, and a broad interest audience. And I have another video on audiences and targeting, so if you need help with that type of stuff, uh, look down in the description below for audiences. And what I'm doing is I'm bring, bringing them to an amazing piece of content now this content could be a video that I have on Facebook or it could be a blog post or something where you know they can just experience me and my content for free. They don't have to opt in for anything, they don't have to buy anything, it's just content and you know they're like, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about or they're like, this guy has no clue what he's talking about, Let, I don't want anything to do with him. So either way, they come in, they see something that I think is very good, well produced, etc., and hopefully they like it and you know, now know who I am. Now they're no longer cold traffic, they're, they're warmed up a little bit, right? And then that's, that's who you're retargeting, is that warmed up traffic. So the next stage then is your bucket. So this whole blue area is what I consider my bucket. And basically what I do is the WT stands for warm traffic is this and I do either like a seven day retarget or you could do a 10 day or 14 day retarget, whatever is relevant to you and your business. Um, but basically you're retargeting everyone that has engaged with you. So anybody that's warmed up, so they visited your amazing content over here, or also people that have found you organically. So if they came through Google and landed on your website and you're retargeting them um, because they visited your website or they've engaged with you on Facebook and you're retargeting people that have engaged with your Facebook page or something like that. So it's any sort of paid warm traffic as well as organic traffic that's found you, you know, for free. Right, so anybody that's engaged with you in the last seven, 10, 14 days, whatever window you wanna do, and basically you just have different offers for the people in this bucket. So one offer might be for a lead magnet, right? You're trying to get people onto your email list. So you might have a lead magnet offer. Uh, you might have an offer offer, so something for sale. So it might be a free plus shipping offer or some low, low price product or service that you're trying to sell. And you might have two of those, right? You might have a couple different offers that you're trying to sell and promote to people. Uh, you might have a couple different lead magnets. You know, what I have outlined right here is just, you know, for sake of example, but you could have maybe a couple lead magnets, a couple offers, and then you might wanna have some content as well. So some other amazing content, some other blog posts, some other Facebook video that, you know, just, you know, warm fuzzies uh, when people watch and and engage with your content, right? So they don't have to opt in, they don't have to buy anything, it's just good content that they can go ahead and see. And so that's essentially the idea. You have a bucket of offers that people are seeing for seven, 10, 14 days. And of course, if they've completed whatever it is you're trying to promote to them, like if they've already opted in for a lead magnet, you'd go ahead and exclude them, right? You don't need them to opt in for more lead magnets because they're already a lead. They're already on your email address or email list. Same thing with the offers. If they've already purchased what it is you're promoting, well, you want to go ahead and exclude those individuals. Same thing with the content. If they've already read the piece of content or watched the piece of content, well, you can go ahead and exclude them as well. So that's the strategy right there. Now let's go over to the Facebook Ads Manager and I'll show you like how it's set up. So here I am in my Ads Manager and right here we see that I have a cold traffic campaign going on. And of course, this is bringing people to my amazing content that I've set up. So it's free, no opt-in, anything like that, just good content. So we'll go in here and I wanna show you my ad set set up real quick. And so let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit and you see my budget. I'm just spending $10 a day bringing you know, cold people into my world so that way I can go ahead and retarget them. 
uh, coming on down and this is who I'm targeting so I'm targeting a lookalike audience here and it's a lookalike of my customers audience so that's who I'm targeting I'm gonna go ahead and exclude people like I'm gonna exclude anybody that's already purchased my flagship product because I don't need you know to bring them back into my world they've already done what I wanted them to do and then I'm gonna exclude everyone that's in my bucket essentially because they're already experiencing other ads so I have an 11 day retarget window in my particular case so Instead of seven days, I have an 11 day retarget. And then I have different offers that I'm showing to individuals for 11 days. So since they're in my window, I'm gonna go ahead and exclude them from my cold audience traffic, right? Because they're no longer cold, they're warmed up. They, they know who I am now, they've seen some of my content. And now I'm gonna show them more content with my retargeting. And just so you can see my ad and everything, I'll show you it so you get an idea of what, what I'm talking about over here. So this is my best performing one. I'll go ahead and pop it open real quick. And so here we go, and I'm not gonna read this whole ad to you, but you could pause the video if you wanna see the ad. But basically it just brings people to this landing page over here where they can go ahead and request or download a free sales funnel blueprints. Like no opt-in, nothing like that, just free good content. And so that's my, my introductory ad right there, right? Converting cold traffic to warm traffic. Uh, by giving them amazing content which is free sales funnel blueprints and so that's my my offer right there and then let me come back out here and go into my other campaigns so i have a couple other campaigns for my bucket here so i have an engagement campaign and i also have a conversion campaign and the reason i have two different campaigns for my bucket is because i have different campaign objectives for these different offers so for my content so this stuff down here I have the engagement campaign objective, whereas for everything else, I'm optimizing for conversion. So those are my offers and lead magnets. I'm optimizing for conversions because you know I want conversions, right? So I'll click in here real quick and we'll go a little bit faster. So I have two pieces of content that I'm sharing with people and these are videos that I share with individuals. And just to look at my targeting real quick, we can check it out. So. I am retargeting people that have engaged with my page in the last seven days or have watched 15 or more seconds of an ad in the last seven days or you know, more, more, more accurately watch any video in the last seven days. So people that have engaged with me in the last seven days and I'm also retargeting people that have visited any page on my website in the last seven days. And then for my exclusions, I'm excluding people that have purchased the vault, which is my flagship product. And I'm also excluding people that have already watched the Facebook ad mistakes video, right? There's no point in trying to get people to watch the video again when they've already watched it. So that, that's my audience set up here. And I'll go ahead and show you the ad real quick just so you can see what it looks like, what I mean by like providing just content to people. So let me pop it up. And so here's my ad. You see it's just one sentence and then a video ad. There's no call to action or anything like that. It's just good content for people to see, see that I know what I'm talking about, all that type of stuff. So simple enough, the other, uh, engagement ad or content ad that I have is the same concept. It's just instead of five Facebook ad mistakes, I have five YouTube ad mistakes. So same concept though. Now coming back out, we'll go into my conversions now. So my my other offers that I have, so like my lead magnet and then offer one, offer two, etc. So I'll show you what I have going on in here. So I'm retargeting for free sales funnel blueprints. So this is my front end offer as well. So this is that same amazing content. And the reason I have that in here is because it's for anyone that found me organically. So, you know, somebody went through Google, went to my website, and now they're on Facebook, and now they see this amazing content, and they're like, oh, I like amazing content. And so that's the idea there. That's why I'm retargeting for this amazing content again, is for anyone that, you know, found me organically or some other way other than coming through my cold traffic ad. So I'm running that offer, and then I have a lead magnet offer, so for 18 free sales funnels. And I'll go ahead and show you my targeting options for it so you can understand it. And you hopefully get the idea now. So engage with the page in the last seven days, watched any video in the last seven days, visited any page in the last seven days. So again, same audience that I was targeting with the content, right? So the last seven days. And then I'm excluding people that have already become a lead or already purchased something from me. And that's because they're already on my list at this point. And there's no point in advertising a lead magnet to these people again because they're already on my email list, right? I'm also excluding people that have purchased the vault, which is my flagship product. And if they've already purchased it, I don't need to be advertising to them again. 
again, it's just you know, a waste of money. I also wanna point out that my budgets on all these retargeting campaigns are only a dollar a day, uh, and that's enough, especially when I'm only spending $10 a day on that front end traffic. And I do have three different ads running for this one, but I'll just show you one of them just so you get an idea of you know what a lead magnet ad looks, looks like. I wanna make sure that you see examples of everything so that way you feel confident and comfortable running a similar campaign. And so here it is. You can go ahead and pause the video here and read it if you want to. And of course there's like a call to action so that way it brings people over to a squeeze page. I'll show you the squeeze page real quick so you can see what that looks like. So they come here, they click on this button, and then they go ahead and opt in for the 18 free sales funnels. So that's my lead magnet that I have going on. And we'll come back out. And I have two offers as well. So I have the sales funnel book, which is a free plus shipping offer. And then I have a vault offer. So this is like this stuff over here. So sales funnel book and then the vault offer. So if I come back over here and I imagine you can guess what my targeting looks like at this point. Again, $1 a day, low budget. And of course I'm targeting people that have engaged with my Facebook page in the last seven days, watched any video in the last seven days, visited any of my website pages in the last seven days, and I'm excluding people that have already purchased the book and I'm excluding people that have already purchased the vault, right? So that's my bucket, right? Seven days or 11 days in other cases. And I'm excluding those that have already taken the desired action, right? Hopefully that makes some sense. And then just for the sake of example, I'll show you one of my ads so you can see that. And so here you go, you can go ahead and pause it if you wanna read it, but obviously there's a call to action and all that type of stuff on this ad because I'm bringing people over to my sales page for the free plus shipping offer. And so here's a quick look at the sales page, you know, your typical free plus shipping offer sales page type of setup. All right, so coming back down to my last ad set I have set up, which is for the vault. And of course, you can likely guess the targeting options here as well. So engage with page seven days, watch any video in seven days, visited any website page in the last seven days. And then of course, I'm excluding anybody that has purchased the vault. And I'll go ahead and show you my ad real quick as well, just so you can take a look at it. And so here it is right here. And of course, there's a call to action, all that type of stuff. And of course, it brings people over to my vault sales page. So people can come over here, learn more about it. Hopefully you want to join all that type of stuff. And so anyway, those are the campaigns, ad sets, and ads that I'm running right now for my current bucket strategy that I have going on. Hopefully it's all making some sense to you. It's pretty pretty simple to understand. You know, you're bringing cold traffic, bringing them to amazing content, so you're getting warm traffic, and then you're just retargeting all your warm traffic with different offers, and if they've already requested or purchase that particular offer, well then you're gonna exclude them from seeing ads for that offer, right? Like that that's how simple it is, that's how easy it is. And just to show you some of the, the stats that I have going on, and I've only spent $127 so far, so it's still optimizing and all that type of stuff. But we'll go ahead and scroll over real quick and take a look at some of the metrics that actually matter and feel free to pause the video and look at what's going on if you wanna see even greater detail. But looking at lead information, so of course leads are important because you're getting people on your email list, I can reach out to them again and again and again, all that type of stuff. Generated 37 leads at a cost per action at $3.45. And of course I only have one ad directly promoting a lead magnet, so I'm not really like chasing leads, but if I go and I look at my retargeting campaign that is focused on getting leads, so my 18 free sales funnel offer here, we see that I'm getting leads at 56 cents. So the one that's geared at getting leads, I'm only spending 56 cents a lead. Now, of course, with the sales funnel book and the vault, like I'm going for purchases. So the fact that I have any leads at all is kind of amazing. But of course, that's what's throwing off my average cost per lead amount, right? Because really I'm spending about 56 cents per targeted lead that I'm going after. Now coming back out here, we'll look at some other stuff real quick. So I've had 28 ads to cart across the whole thing, $4.56 per ad to cart. So, you know, that's people getting close to buying stuff. I've made had nine purchases according to Facebook. So of course, Facebook stats might not be 100% accurate, but close enough for our example here. So nine purchases, cost per purchase about $14.18 per purchase. So purchase conversion value $162. Again, this stuff isn't completely accurate, but close enough. And so just looking at it from a high level, made $162 and spent 127. So from the front, it's top or profitable, so you know that's pretty cool, like profitable right off the front. Uh, that's not to mention that I'll be able to monetize these leads or some of these leads and monetize my retargeting audiences and all that type of stuff. So more money to be made, but it's nice to see something profitable right away. 
Now looking at clicks here, brought in 173 clicks. So, you know, that's, that's good. You want lots of traffic, which again, warms up the audience and, you know, more opportunity to convert them to buyers and all that type of stuff. And so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you this Facebook ads retargeting strategy that I call the bucket strategy. Pretty simple to understand. Hopefully I explained it well in this video and hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to ask them down below. I'm here to help you out. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.